Yo, that Loma and that Richard Comey fight, that was a great performance by Vasily Lomachenko. Now, this is going to be some unbiased commentary because I already see certain YouTube channels trying to make something up, make it seem like Loma was really struggling against Richard Comey. I'm going to put it like this. Loma was outclassing Richard Comey. He dropped Richard Comey. Richard Comey was really hurt in that round. Loma did tell um, Richard Comey's corner to throw in the towel. And after Richard Comey got up, I mean, he it looked like in the seventh round, he could have been out of there. Looked like Lomachenko just let up off the gas and let, and let Richard Comey survive pretty much the rest of the fight. Um, you could tell in the seventh round, Richard Comey didn't even really have his footing. He was struggling to get his footing. He get, he got tapped even after he got up and beat the, the tank count. Loma hit him again, and Richard Comey was stumbling. But I will give Richard Comey this. He has a lot of heart. He stuck in there with Lomachenko, even though he was being outclassed by Lomachenko. Richard Comey had heart, but at the end of the day, I believe if Vasily Lomachenko wanted to knock him out, he would have did it. He, he would have definitely got him out of there. And, and looking at these fights, now that Teofimo Lopez looks like he's moving to 140 or he's going to retire or whatever, or it doesn't even matter, even if he was still in the division, you could tell the best lightweight in that division as of right now is Vasily Lomachenko. See, I'm not gonna sit up here and try to spin narratives like some of these other channels or whatnot. Um, Cause you got channels out there, they claim it for black folks, but they not even with black folks. You know what I'm saying? But they wanna tell the YouTube world just for donations, yo, yo, we supporting black fighters. Yeah, that's cool. I support black fighters, but I support all fighters on top of that because I love the sport of boxing and um, that's what I'm here for so I know it looks like if George Cambosis depending on who he fights if, if he does decide to fight Vasily Lomachenko Vasily Lomachenko is probably going to beat George Cambosis down I mean, George Campos has had a good outing against uh, Teofimo Lopez, but Vasily Lomachenko looks like he's on a mission. And on top of that, outside of Devin Haney right now, I don't see none of these other guys really going to get in the ring with Vasily Lomachenko. Because uh, Vasily Lomachenko, like I said before, he's on a mission. If he lands the fight, you can forget about Javante Tank Davis trying to fight Lomachenko. Probably wait till Lomachenko turn like 35, 36 before he decides to get in the ring with him. And that's sad because Javante Tank Davis has a lot of talent and it's being wasted away because he's fighting. And I, I mean, yeah, I can say no name fighters, but you know, one thing about no name fighters, you never know how good they are. But the one thing we do know. The guys that y'all fighting, they like C-class fighters. Um, Isak Cruz basically surprised Javante Tank Davis because basically he was cherry picked and it didn't go as well as you know it was planned. But anyway, I don't want to take this still this night away from Zilli Lomachenko and his performance. So I'm gonna end this video right here. I'm out.